So what we're going to do is take a text file, encode it into uh, binary strings. Every letter is going to be uh, encoded in binary strings, ones and zeros. And then we're going to create a video that is going to represent these ones and zeros as green dots and red dots. Green for one, red for zero. We are then going to upload this file to YouTube, this video file, and then we'll have the ability to download this file again, run it through our converter, detect the green and red dots, and convert that back to binary strings, convert that back to ASCII strings, and get our original text file back. And that will be the first step of our cloud storage on YouTube thing. So please don't get the wrong idea here. This is an extremely naive solution that we are implementing in this first step. It's absolutely not practical to be storing larger files um, on YouTube because uh, we are actually increasing a, a text file size that is maybe like 47 kilobytes to something that might be 47 megabytes um, once it's converted to video. It's an extremely naive solution to do it this way, but it works and that's the, the the main point i'm trying to make here with this like in the future we can make this a lot more complex where for instance we can instead of just uh, encoding it in dots we can encode uh, more complex shapes which will allow us to um, uh, use uh, compression algorithms things like that to actually keep the file size very small of the video and so we will be able to upload any type of file to YouTube, whether it's like a program or uh, an audio file or a, a text file, anything, like anything that is basically binary data, which is basically everything. Um, we, we will make this into a series. This is like this first script is easy to write. You can just download it from GitHub, copy it from the screen, whatever you want to do. Uh, an experiment by yourself, but um, this this is um, not going to be uh, a, a small little project. This this to make this practical is going to take a lot of effort, but it 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 probably will work. Like uh, it it should be totally possible to do this. And the the way that I got to the idea was that like they used to back in the 80s they had this program on the BBC that used to transfer. Uh, basic programs by um, uh, flickering a, a white dot on the corner of the screen and they, they taught you how to build um, uh, a little circuit with a photo resisting cell that you could like on a suction cup and you could put it on your television and then just download uh, the, the, the basic program right through your TV and it was just transmitted in pulses and so but that's basically what we're doing here but and to make this practical, to keep file sizes down, and uh, we will need to do a lot more work. Uh, plus, we can't upload private files because YouTube, not even the data API, allows for downloading of files, not even your own files, not even your own videos. So we have to go through the public downloading method. So you can only upload unlisted files, which is what we're doing here. Uh, so we, we will need encryption. We will need to encrypt these files that we upload otherwise like uh, what is storage if it isn't safe storage it makes no sense Of course we have errors, we always have errors.
Okay, so now with all the errors out of the way, we can uh, call our script with the dash dash store and uh, give our text file as an input. And you will see it working. It is converting the text to binary strings, then converting that to video with OpenCV. And then in a little while we will see that upload to YouTube. So let's just uh, give that a second. And there it's going, it's uh, starting the upload. Like I said, the, the file size by now is probably like anywhere between 40 and 80 megabytes or even over. So like, again, this is a very naive, unpractical solution and it's done. So we check YouTube, we check my channel and refresh. And there we see the new video uploaded. It's uploaded as unlisted because like I said, we can we can upload private videos, but we cannot download our own videos. And if the video isn't public, we have no public URL to download it in the retrieve part of our script. So we're ready to download it now. At the moment you have to hard code the link uh, to the video in the script. I'm going to probably put an end cursor's UI in front of it so that it can just save um, the files that you've uploaded and you can just select from a list. But um, yeah, of course there are some errors again, like, like always. But uh, if we go through all those for a quick second, I've sped it up. Then here we can call uh, dash dash retrieve on our script called test, which is the name of the video. And it will then download the video from YouTube, uh, read out every frame and convert that back to binary strings, which then are converted back to ASCII. Now, you, the video itself might be, you know, like one minute long, four minutes long, depending on how much text you've uploaded, but that doesn't matter. Like you can read the frames as fast as your computer will allow. So. That part is, uh, is kind of working in our favor. So that's pretty good. This is the first step. It's the start of a series and um, I hope you like it. And I'll see you next time.